Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I thought I would do a fall makeup tutorial for you guys uh, because it's September already. I cannot believe this but anyways. This has pretty dramatic eyes and lips. However, I did not include a winged liner so it's not too much if too much is a thing because for me it's not too much but anyways I wanted to do a wearable look uh, and it has this 90s grunge to it it looks a bit more badass to say so or at least I hope it does and uh, yeah I really hope you will enjoy this tutorial uh, and let's jump right into it sorry I skipped the foundation part but I know it's kind of boring and you guys skipped through it so we're gonna start this Get Ready With Me tutorial with concealer. If you want a separate foundation routine video, just let me know. Uh, what I did was prime my face with this Anti-Imperfection Serum with Illumination Effect from Gelo Vital Happy Med. Applied it all over the face, including the eye area. Uh, and then I applied foundation, the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for combination and oily skin. Uh, in the shade 180 sand beige. Uh, I applied a thin layer of uh, foundation on the face uh, and I also prepared my lips with the Balea Lovely, Lovely Mint uh, Lip Balm. So what we are gonna do now is apply concealer to cover up all my pimples because I'm kind of breaking out right now, I don't know why. Um, and I need to apply it here, here and uh, underneath the eyes to cover up the dark circles. Um, and for this I'm going to use a product I bought recently. Uh, and this is the Perfect Look Concealer Palette. Uh, I did a post on Instagram about this product. I'm so not impressed with it. The only... it's dirty as well. Uh, the only thing I'm going to use is this concealer, which is pretty good and has a good coverage. Uh, the other things here, contouring, highlighter and anti dullness uh, don't do shit for my face. They are just cheap and nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. It's very disappointing. Okay, and we're gonna blend everything with a damp beauty blender. Also illuminates the area, which is quite nice, especially for the under eye area. Okay, this looks pretty good. Uh, and now it's time to fix everything, to set it in place with um, with powder. And I'm using the Catrice New Delusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. Uh, and for this I'm going to use a big fluffy brush for the whole face uh, and this smaller brush from e.l.f. Uh, under the eyes. We're going to apply it here on the T-zone where we apply the concealer. And here on the neck. So for a light, very light contouring, uh, I'm going to use the Hula Benefit bronzer. I'm not going to insist too much. Using it on the cheekbones, I'm also gonna contour the jawline with the same product. Just 
to give it a bit more dimension and to sculpt it. And on the forehead. The full makeup look, uh, I want it to be a bit more dramatic, so I'm not going to use a very sparkly blush. I would use the one from Sleep, but I would rather use this one, the Catrice Multi Matte Blush, uh, because it's matte and I'm gonna use most of these uh, two top darker colors. Okay, so now it's time to do the eyebrows. And now I'm gonna take this brush from Brush Art and the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. Uh, and I'm gonna apply this color right here uh, and contour the eyebrows with this. everything in place uh, we're gonna use the NYX control freak eyebrow gel for the eyes uh, we're gonna use the makeup revolution iconic 3 palette it has a lot of pinks browns goldens the perfect colors for the fall season um, yep and I think we're gonna start with this brown, which is a transition shade, and we're gonna apply it uh, in the crease, first of all. And gently go upwards and downwards to blend it all in with the skin. Same on the other side. We're gonna go in with this brown over here on top of the lid uh, and for that we're gonna use a flat brush uh, and we're gonna apply this all across the lid Uh, it's a really pretty color brown shade, the darker one, and we're gonna apply it on the outer V. Gradually adding product so we don't have too many fallouts. And here in the crease, covering the other colors as well. Same on the other eye. see what I'm doing here. I can't zoom in the camera without losing the focus on myself. That's the nasty part of doing your own videos with no one to help. Oh well, not that I'm complaining, I'm still doing them anyways. And now we're gonna blend everything again. Okay. 
Okay, and for the outer V, uh, we're gonna come back with this, the darker shade, which is a black, but not really. <laughs> it's more of a burgundy, dark, dark shade. Just to give more dimension to the look. Just do it carefully. The darker shades always have the most fall out of the fall. Okay, and now blend everything together. And now we're gonna go on the lower lash line um, with this uh, with this brush and with what's left on it. And we're gonna go here on the outside first. can see we have a pretty dark eye makeup which means we won't need eyeliner or casual pencil we're gonna skip that part however we need mascara a lot of mascara I don't use false lashes I think I told you that already so I'm gonna use two mascaras the first one is the lash sensational mascara from Maybelline uh, this has an amazing uh, wand as you can see, it's kind of curly, curled, something, I don't know how to call it. Uh, and this is the perfect base and also the perfect lower lash line mascara. Uh, and then we're gonna top everything with the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara uh, in the 100% black. This is the Rio Collection uh, edition. Or something. You get what I'm, what I'm saying. <laughs> and we're gonna apply two coats. Of mascara. Let's do this. Okay, so we have ginormous lashes now. Uh, the only thing left to do is to highlight the inner corners and the brow. And the brow bone. Yeah, that was it. Uh, so for that we're gonna use this white matte shade. Okay, so now the last step is applying the lipstick. And for this fall grunge makeup look, we're gonna use uh, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. This is a really dark shade and uh, I think it's gonna look amazing with this eye makeup. Um, and to make sure uh, it looks perfect, I'm gonna use this Real Technique uh, lip brush for the contouring. the final look I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's uh, useful for you guys I'm really curious what uh, kind of fall makeup you plan to wear uh, this season uh, let me know in the comment section below if you would wear this makeup look and where would you wear it and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching have an amazing day uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video so more people can see it you know already you need to subscribe if you haven't already the small little button below and uh, yeah i'll see you again next week Mwah. bye